We're back once again. <laughs> Hopefully we're stronger. We're refreshed. We had a break. I've taken some voice lessons. So I don't know, but we, we, we always like we we try to take a little bit of Las Vegas with us everywhere we go. And it's it's fun. Yeah, we it's these we've just started playing again and it's been really fun. I don't know, I just wanted to seem like the right thing to do, you know? I wanted to, to be better, get better, and it's just helped me with, with um, I don't, we don't, the guy knows what my ambitions are, and he knows that there's a certain style and it's something that I've already kind of got going, so we're just kind of fine-tuning a few things, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, be an opera singer or anything. Um, I, don't know, I might be too close to it to, to to really see how it's how having a family and everything has affected the the whole process. I definitely, I, I I mean, I guess if I really want to look at it, my motivations are probably different. You know, in the beginning, I was obsessed with Ziggy Stardust and Hunky Dory, and you got some weird interpretation of that from some dudes in in Las Vegas, <laughs> and and that's not there anymore. You know. We're not shy about about you know wanting to have big songs, but yeah, now it's it's strange to to it's it's tough to be in a rock band right now, it is, <laughs> and um, the rock stations are dying, and the uh, I, I shouldn't I really shouldn't have anything to complain about because we got like I said you know we got our foot in the door at the last second. I feel sorry for young young guys now that that, that, that love rock and roll and and are struggling to find a home. 